Welcome to Chamber Chats, a weekly series by the West Monroe West Washita Chamber of Commerce highlighting our valued members. As always, find out more about the Chamber and our members online at westmonroechamber.org. And now, this week's episode of West Monroe West Washita Chamber Chats. everyone, welcome to this edition with, uh, of Chamber Chats with the West Monroe West Washtenaw Chamber. We're so proud to be here at Louisiana Delta Community College to film this series. This week's episode, we have Kevin with Underscore. So tell us about your business. Thanks so much for having me. I, I appreciate the opportunity. Sure. So Underscore started in 2019. Okay. And basically the premise was that I was going to uh, do just local lead generation services I learned very quickly that I needed to expand just from that. Right. So um, now I focus on uh, w business website development, mm -hmm. SEO services, and uh, lead generation. So that might be very intimidating for a lot of people. So when we talk about lead generation, what are we really meaning for as an output? So um, lead generation just essentially means uh, bringing the leads, the customers, into you. Um, I, in the they, digital ecosystem. Yes, in, in the digital ecosystem. So if you have a storefront, um, it's not so much relevant to right. you as it is to a service business. Right. So service businesses, especially larger ticket service, um, it, you know, if you're if you're selling a twenty dollar product, I'm probably not going to be able to help you that much. Sure. Other than maybe I could build a website for you. Right. But um, with a, a, a like say a five hundred dollar service. Uh, where you're not counting on walk-ins, you're counting on phone calls. That's ideal. I can I can help that person. Uh, you know, five hundred dollars and up, I can really start to to generate them enough business in a month's time that it makes sense for them to pay for my services. So, in traditional marketing, we used to say that it took multiple exposures to make someone take an action. Now, with so much, we're inundated with advertising. Yes. Um, so, your service is even more key now to make sure that those those exposures, those impressions on social media or whatever, become actions. Oh yes, and and look, uh, this sort of direct selling and, and things like that, it's been around for years. Sure. But it's it's repackaged every like decade or so, right. it's something different. You put a new title yeah, on it. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> and, and while, yeah, Facebook marketing, all this stuff is, is great and you can target that, there's also value in going just old fashioned snail mail. Mm -hmm. There's there are different ways of, of doing that. And I mean, my favorite and, and how I got started is with a simple website. You know, that's why I, I love building the websites for, for businesses, because, you know, you can put up a 10 page website with with highly um, authoritative content, which a lot of people skip. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they don't have many words on their website. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how Google, Google finds you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's how it knows what your website is about. And so with that, you know, you have at least 10 pages of that. Sure. You get each one of those is another opportunity for someone to find you for a different product or service. Right. So let's talk about web design for a second because I think there's a lot of mis um, maybe misidentity with good web design. Now, good web design can be a scaler. It, can, it has a cost, but I think that they, with so many online services, Wix and all these all-in-one toolboxes, people are oversold performance and under-delivered. Um, and so what? how do you deal with their clients' expectations about you know when they're designing their website, right? So like, I'm your client, I come to you, I want the whole world to find me. Well, not really your real audience is West Monroe, right? So talk to us about your so, clients. Um, with, with my clients, I generally serve um, somewhat local mm -hmm. clients within the state of Louisiana mm -hmm. uh, and some in the Mississippi, Texas. Sure. But um, I could, in theory, serve you know the, the, the entire world globe, audience, but, yeah. but I try to focus on those closest to me. And the ones that have come to me, generally I try to find the nearest um, population center to them. So I'm from Winsboro. I'm not going to optimize my website for Winsboro because I would starve. Mm -hmm. So I've got to go Monroe. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, w I would put up a web page that says Monroe and optimize for Monroe. I would put up one for, for West Monroe, optimize mm -hmm. for that. I would put up one 
or Ruston right. or Shreveport, right. optimize for each one of those because each one of those is going to rank in Google search results for that area. And so it's important. It's important to, to find these population centers that, that these people uh, can offer their services in. And that's another reason why it's better in, in my case for lead generation purposes to work with service businesses. But sure. it's still, for, for a storefront business, if you want a website, um, you, you still want to rank for that nearest population center right. so people can find you. So tell us a little bit, of, like, you, you know, how are you empowering your clients to have confidence, you know, and actually make that big step and put their content online? You know, there's, there's a lot of people that are all, always hesitant, you know, that the cost is going to be prohibitive or, you know. Well... Each business owner that I've dealt with is a subject matter expert in something. Sure. Yeah. And they're not subject matters in uh, online marketing right, or website right, right. development because if they were, they wouldn't be talking sure. to me. And so they, they have something that they have to offer that I don't. Mm -hmm. And I learn from each one of those people in their industry. And that's, that's amazing. Awesome. But I empower them to uh, get their message out there mm -hmm. to more people. And so... I mean, ideally, each one of these is a partnership. Mm -hmm. I get something from them, and they get something from me. And that the main thing that I offer is just the ability to get out there, expand their, their online presence, and get in front of more people. Hopefully, that means more freedom to them. That's the end goal. Right. More freedom, more income, more clients, um, growing their, their market share. That's obviously the end goal from my perspective. I get to work with these people. I get to learn from them and see how the lawn care business, the dirt moving business, you know, all these different people that I work with, what that really means to the community. So you mentioned several clients, like what's what's one that's been kind of a, a great learning opportunity, you know, what's, what's your favorite example recently? Well, so recently I, I've worked with a lawn care business and um, just seeing how, um, and this came about as a result of signing up for, for Moxie, by the way. Some of you might have heard of the, the Moxie community. Um, and this was a guy that I, I might have missed his business otherwise. Sure. Right. Um, he was kind of hesitant about paying cash, but because I offered my services in Moxie, he signed up. Um, then turns around, gets this beautiful website built that he was hesitant about in the first place. And now he's he's stoked about it. Like it, it takes a little bit to get over that hump, the the right. the price right. hurdle Intim or whatever intimidation. And then just the the buy-in factor of now this beautiful website that spreads their message, represents their brand, mm -hmm. and it also exhibits feedback. So with each one of these, you, you want to give social proof, you know, of, of their own customers um, telling their story as well about how you know they've been treated by that that person. That's awesome. It's really exciting to let that customer's voice ring through through your product. So that's fantastic. Tell us, if we wanted to find more on you, where do we go? So underscore USA.com, that's my website. Okay. You can feel free to call uh, my business number. It's 318-333-0491. And a social tag? So underscore USA, that's pretty much whether it's... Cross uh, platforms. Yeah, 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 cross platforms. So. Oh, well, thank you for coming and joining us. And on uh, the next episodes, we're going to explore continuing to deep dive into our members, but also some of our board members and what their background is and how they uh, feed into the mission of the chamber. Thanks for joining us at the Louisiana Delta Community College. This has been another episode of West Monroe, West Washtenaw Chamber Chats.